Hi guys, Sankan again here, bringing you another video, and this is going to be the second video on the Tech It series that I'm going to do. Now I'm just going to jump straight into it. Firstly, we're going to go over some things about Red Power. So if you know everything about Red Power, please feel free to skip skip onto the Inventions section. Right, so the first thing we're going to go over is the Block Breaker block. The Block Breaker block has a head, and it will dig out of that head or break that block and then it will spit the um, block out of its rear, like so. If a pipe is connected to the rear side of the block breaker, the block will pass through the pipe and into a nearby chest. If the pipe is a redstone pneumatic tube, then we can actually power the block breaker through the tube itself. These redstone tubes are exactly like pneumatic tubes, but they allow redstone current to pass through them. We can activate this with regular redstone dust, a lever right next to the side, or this thing called cobble jacketed wire, which allows red wire to connect up to these pipes. Now we're going to go on to blue tricity, which is part of red power. Blue tricity is like a power that uh, we can use to run specific machines. We can generate blue electricity using these solar panels here, or we can use something called a thermopile. A thermopile takes differences in heat, so like this water and lava hit difference here, and turns that into energy. However, it produces a tiny, tiny amount of energy, so you need a few to actually get enough energy to run some machines. Blue alloy wire allows blue tricity to pass from generating objects into battery boxes and also from battery boxes or generating objects straight into machines. Do note also that power supplies do actually pass from machine to machine so if you have two solar panels next to each other this solar panel is powering this solar panel, which is also powering this blue alloy wire. So this is powering this, and this is powering this as well. A specific machine that has to run off blue electricity is the retriever. And what this will do is it will retrieve a certain block from a pipeline that's next to it. So notice that this is a bit like the filter. However, it can work through pipes and doesn't have to be directly next to the inventory to work. So notice that this is full of stone bricks. There's a stone brick in here. When we activate it, it will suck it out of the chest through the pipe and then into the chest behind it. Now, I gave myself the challenge of creating an elegant looking small and compact cobblestone generator and that's what I have here and over there. This one only works outside because it's running off solar panels however that one works everywhere because it works off thermopiles. So just to briefly go over how this works um, these block breakers here are breaking the blocks um, of these cobblestone blocks which are being generated. All of these lava, lavas here are all lava sources and they're all, and this column of water is all um, flowing water generated by this one water source here. I have glass on the outside just so you can see what's happening in there because I think that looks cool. Here we just have storage and I have it set up, so they'll firstly fill up this chest, then this one, then this one, then this one, and then finally they'll get condensed into diamonds if there's any left over. I do this with the fundamental principle of pneumatic tubes, that the items will go to the closest inventory. So currently this inventory isn't free, there's no space free, and neither is there any in any of these three. So all the cobblestone is going directly to this energy condenser here. If I take out some cobblestone, 
Notice the items will start flowing back into this diamond chest. If I just refill that, they'll go straight up to the energy condenser again. The wiring here is actually fairly simple. Down there underneath this uh, battery box we have a timer, which we'll be able to see from back here actually. Now that redstone there splitting off this way and this way is just a visual bug, so don't worry about that. But this redstone here is powering that redstone tube back there, which powers all of these block breakers at once. Now over here we have uh, this line that splits off, and it goes into two retrievers. One which will retrieve diamonds, and one which will retrieve a whole stack of cobblestone. This is being powered by this bat battery box, which is being powered by this blue um, alloy wire here, going straight to these solar panels here. I have these retrievers colouring to a specific colour, and this allows us to have a sorting system over here, so we can have these running into exactly the same pipe, and then at the end they can be resplit by just painting pipes different colours. You can activate the retrievers by using these redstone wire lines here. Let me just demonstrate that by getting a button. And why didn't that activate you? Oh, it did. There we go. It was just a visual bug. Let's just try that again. And we should get another stack of cobblestone delivered straight into here. Nice! You could also hook up some coloured wiring and then straight into a bundle cabling here. And that means you could request cobble or diamonds from wherever you are in the system. Now we're going to go over to this one, which works anywhere. It, this one only works outside, but this one will work in a cave, even if you wanted it to. It works by having a thermopile down there, and that water block there. The thermopile generates blue-tricity, and is passed through this blue alloy wi wire here. It's passed underneath this uh, little this block here, and notice that the water over there isn't actually breaking the blue alloy wire. Although it might be quite hard to see. See? Water is right there, but not breaking the blue alloy wire. This is then fed into a blue alloy jacketed wire, which has the great ability of just being able to freely move anywhere you like. This is then joined by the other thermopiles energy on the other side, and then put straight into this bat box here, creating electricity. Now to power these retrievers, we can use these redstone pipes here. Alternatively, we can go onto the side and push in redstone through that block, and then straight to the thermopile on this side. Again, we have the timer here, which is pulsing the block breakers through that redstone pipe. And again, we have the same situation with the chests and the energy condensers on this side. However, it hasn't been running as long, so this diamond chest hasn't quite filled up yet. And you can see we're getting about 5 cobblestone each time this thing pulses, every 0.8 seconds. So all in all, I think these cobblestone generators are nice and compact, and also very elegant at the same time. They are also relatively cheap, which makes them a very handy thing for survival, a very handy tool for survival. And at the top there we have an energy condenser, which, after running for a long while, can produce quite a few diamonds. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time for the next video. Click here to see my previous episode on EMC generation. Click here to see my next episode on Turtle Doors. And click here 
to be updated with my future content. Thanks for watching!